Hello everyone, my name is Bear, and this is Bioshock Infinite, a brand new game released today, March 26th, on PS3, Xbox 360, and the PC, which is where I'll be playing it here today, of course, with the Xbox 360 controller, just for the sake of simplicity. Uh, we are starting into this as a result of having completed the first two Bioshock games here on YouTube.com slash Uh This, of course, being a brand new release, I will be playing it blind. I've got the graphics up to as much as my computer can handle, which will be Ultra on 1280 by 720 which oh, I hope is good enough for you uh, fellow graphic freaks out there like me. But uh, it is quite gorgeous. I've played a few minutes of this just to test settings, get make sure everything's ship shape. I've got the subtitles on for you, got the graphics, like I said, up to full capacity. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we can play in on normal and uh, hopefully be able to, yes, of course, right over that recent auto save. It's no big deal. All right, medium is here and away we go. Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Land on it. So you expect me to show What's the burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. One does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. Oh, We're work. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does. There's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. As we take control of Booker DeWitt here, we find ourselves in a scenario very similar to that of the beginning of the first Bioshock game, as the uh, gentleman and lady will roll off. Returning. Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. It does indeed. Well, maybe there's someone inside. As I was saying, the uh, the middle of the ocean, lighthouse being the only uh, source of landscape we can see for the uh, discernible distance ahead of us. But uh, I would like to mention first and foremost that holy cow, this is beautiful. I am really digging the look of things so far. Again, I've only played a few minutes, but, uh, man, this is absolutely breathtaking. We have it up on Ultra, so, uh, that's, that's helping, I'm sure, but, my gosh. All right, so like I was saying, though, the lighthouse here, reminiscent of that introduction to the first sequence in Bioshock when the plane crashes and all that yada, yada, yada. Of course, this is only a sequel in terms of thematic elements, as I've mentioned before. You don't have to play the first two games to really know what's happening here. It's all its own uh, individual, independent story and uh, setting as well. But it does help to have some fam familiarity with the uh, Bioshock me. series. It's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Still have no idea really what's uh, going on here. And there's our face. Good luck with that, pal. That uh, foreshadowing, or perhaps backshadowing, whatever you want to call it, of Booker DeWitt and his uh, seemingly not so pleasant past. Eat jar of pickles, that looks nice. Uh, the Silver Eagles here, of course, being the new form of currency that we'll be partaking in here in Bioshock Infinite. Many of the same uh, feel and look here? to things. 
Hello? I suppose I shouldn't say look in such a broad context, given that many of the appearances will appear uh, drastically different when you compare it to something like Rapture. Uh, fairly certain this telephone doesn't actually lead us to or connect us to anything at all. We've got a map up here that we can take the gander at. Be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. C. Now C could be a uh, number of characters, including someone named Character. But <laughs> we'll leave that to uh, speculation for now. The old-timey radio. Always nice to hear, and look at that water flow, my goodness. It's a spectacle be to behold so far here, ladies and gentlemen, in Bioshock Infinite. To thine own land shall I take thee. Now what is up here on floor number two? Shit. Good idea not to disappoint whoever's responsible for this, clearly. Someone, uh, looks like probably the lighthouse keeper was, uh, met with un an unfortunate demise early on here in our quest atop the lighthouse tower. Searching anything I can here, just kind of investigating what the possibilities are for items. Of course, the silver eagles will be helpful later on, I'm sure, although I haven't the slightest yet. Now, time to ring the bells. Wait a minute, that card. Get one scroll, two keys, and two swords. What in the world is... Excuse you, God. It was very impolite. So we're sending a signal beaming through the heavens here from the lighthouse atop. You can see out, uh, actually might be able to see some land fairly far off, at least I was under the... Yeah, there we go. So we've got something off in the distance there. Not completely out here, stranded alone. Response flare, Captain! The message is heard loud and clear. The lantern turns revealing... A dentist chair! And we're probably gonna have to take a seat. Alright. Looks like they expect me to sit in the <coughs> chair. And sit I shall. So no. What the hell? Go! Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings the are going? there as a safeguard. Uh, uh, no, no, god damn it! Ascension! Ascension in the count of five. No, count no, of four. No, no, no. Three. Two. two. One. Uh, Attention! Attention! Alright, we're just staying calm. 5,000 feet. 10,000 feet. 15,000 feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Columbia. The city in the clouds. The new rapture, as it were. A place we'll become very familiar with. And a zeppelin passes by. How fitting is that? This is, uh, again, reminiscent of introductory sequences in the original game, where we were first met with uh, whales passing by underwater as we first viewed rapture. Quick glance of their prophet there. Uh, name is Comstock, I believe. We'll be encountering him, I'm sure, very soon. For now, let us descend. Why would he send his savior unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And though we deserve not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Get 
getting an O oh Brother Where Art Thou vibe right now. Our shackles released and away we go. Finding a way into the city of Columbia. This Vatican art is uh, quite impressive. The seat of the prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. We find ourselves with yet another immortalized image of Comstock and or a prophet of equal taste and value. And uh, there's a friend. Me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Hmm. Just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Thought we were encountering an invisible wall there for a moment, but uh, just running into a pillar. No big deal. Ah ha ha. And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Thompson. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded need and not railed against the sodom beneath us, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodom below? Newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our our founders and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? I guess. Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. Hallelujah. Reach out, brother. Glory be. Go on, brother. Reach out, brother. Praise the Lord. Glory be. All right, if I have to. Get back on that. <laughs> hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the debt! What do you want? We had a deal to wit. Open this door right now! I told you! I'm not gonna do it! Go away! Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Experiencing what I can only assume is a bit of a flashback here. Looking into uh, Booker DeWitt's personal past and history and uh, applying my backwards reading skills here, we can see Booker DeWitt's investigations into matters both public and private. And perhaps this has turned into ominous foreshadowing instead of flashbacking. Dear God. <laughs> That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. We found ourselves in the, uh... In the pavilion, perhaps, of the, uh... Of the church or temple or whatever they want to call it. ...so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll. So that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Now we learn a little bit about the uh, history of the religious organization that permeates this particular area. We've got Father Franklin, of course, Ben Franklin, holding the key, which symbolizes some sort of 
unlocking. <laughs> I didn't ever hear that part. Uh, we've got Father Jefferson here holding the scroll, which is supposed to represent the uh, balance of laws and ideals. And then, of course, Father Washington, the almighty general, wielding the sword, which, of course, decimates those who do not agree with us. So they may better love the air. What is Columbia, if not another arc for another time? I suppose exactly that. Where, with flaming sword and wings of angels, watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt, so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. You're growing some lovely flat roses here, friend. Quite the uh, upbringing. Finding quite a few white blonde gentlemen in this area, which is always nice. Jump into the pond and find some silver eagles. Always useful. Feel a slight tad bit bad taking alms from the Lord, but uh, not enough to put them back into the pond, of course. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find. And how, Booker. And how. And it's beautiful! Oh my goodness, the wonderful world of Columbia. In all its majestic glory, we found it. My gosh. This is absolutely stunning. No holds bar, man. Irrational games, you have outdone yourselves. Let's have a listen. Oh, I know, Mr. Rossignol. I've never had any voices. <laughs> Mr. Lawson, you're terrible. Good to see you. So polite. We've got food, of course, that recovers our health, much like previous games. Day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned just this way. Columbia people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear Lady Comstock, our beloved Mother of Forgiveness. Indeed, young ward. Oh, that statue... I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute... You know, divinity. Hmm? I don't know, I think it does a pretty good job. Could embellish him a bit more in the genitalia region, but I guess that might be a bit too flattering. Does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty. Do as you're told and don't question authority, young man. Learn as you live. Psalmstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Tell you who, a communist! Or, you know, like a, a different kind of person. Hudson's Woodwork and Repair Shop. Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. And by all that, of course, I mean a shoe shiner and suit and cloak shop. That statue is massive. Holy cow. That is impeccable. Got the daily docking schedule, which I'm assuming is probably somewhere along the lines of a train station or the uh, inappropriate context that we can associate with that word. This, Fox Popular, that. Now, what does Fox Popular even mean, for heaven's sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means. Latin. <laughs> ha! Latin. Like anyone speaks that language anymore. It's dead, and all the people that. We're with it are dead too, and he can't think about dead things because it's not important. Electric horse! Oh man, that's awesome! Oh, you made me happy, Mr. Ice Delivery Man. Thank you. Your mustache is fantastic. Look at their faces, man. Look at how good they look. Oh, it's amazing! And also kind of claymation style. That's alright, though. Patriots Pride Confectionery, this living, breathing world. It's amazing! 
Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> Certainly limitations to it. Can't expect to be uh, fully immersed by non-polygonal shrubbery, I suppose, but... He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. I, uh, I don't. I <laughs> have absolutely no idea what that means. I, I'm guessing the sword might have some kind of a sexual connotation, but I don't want to poke that far into it. If you know what I mean. Money for the girls' patriotic league. <laughs> Maybe next time. You look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. I agree, but apparently Booker doesn't. Is that a barbershop quartet? Oh my God! Where is it? Point me the way. Yes! Right here? Oh no, there they are. Made a dangerous jump. It wasn't worth it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I caught him in the middle of the do to dos Damn it. Ah, oh, I missed the lyrical portion. But these, these two are lovely. Man, that's great. Just notice I haven't seen anything but white people. That'll probably play into the story later on. Back in five minutes, which means time to raid your shop. It's locked, damn it. Let's move right along. That barbershop quartet is wonderful, though. That kind of talk draws attention. Oh, don't turn into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Popular, now do I? Lore. Ha <laughs> ha. I love character interpretation. I said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77, stop. Oop, Tess. Huh? Go to Monument Island and find the girl. We've, uh, encountered what may be a natural stopping point here in our first episode of Bioshock Infinite. Thank you so much for joining me! Here today, as we've begun our inaugural episode, I should mention that uh, I do plan on taking my merry time with this. I'm going to be enjoying every aspect, learning as much as I can about this world, because it has already completely engaged me, and oh my goodness, we can use the telescope to look at the statue! Oh, that's lovely! Look at this thing. This is magnificent. Yes, like I said, I'll be taking my time, and I hope you guys can appreciate that as much as I do, but this is going to be... A wonderful journey, and I hope you'll join me for it. Subscribe here to the Bear Taffy YouTube channel if you like what you see. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.